Governments along the Northern Corridor are demonstrating inconsistencies in as far as the elimination of non-tariff barriers are concerned. Take for way bridges. This is still the government's position that there are only two between Mombasa and Kampala. Since now the transportation has improved to allow only weighing of vehicles at, at the entrance, for example, if the vehicle is coming from Mombasa, it is supposed to be weighed only at Maraba or Busi. You are not supposed to have to weigh in between. The idea is that when, when I am reporting goods, when you containerize the goods, for example, there is already a weight on that container. So long as the container is sealed, you have no reason to weigh that container. But for the people operating along the Northern Corridor, the position of government remains contrary to what is on the ground. Basically, we have our main challenges the, the Kenyan side. Usually when we are coming from Kenya, originally they had said the way bridges are supposed to be reduced to two. We were supposed to have Maria Kani and then Webwe. But at the moment, there are still about four way bridges. We have Mlonongo, we have Gilgil. And on top of that, they add the mobile bridges. And what happens on these way bridges, usually they're supposed to be taking the truck weight capacity. Maybe if my truck can carry about 40 tons and it gets there and maybe it's over 40 tons, then that's a penalty, that's fine. But what they do in Kenya is they weigh per axle. But by the declarations by those in charge, things like weigh bridges are not about to go regardless of what the heads of state wish. Overloaded vehicles contribute tremendously to the deterioration of the road network. And this is the why we must uh, strive to operate within the allowable or legal axle limits. Non-tariff barriers disappear and appear whenever governments find convenience in using them and remain a thorn in the flesh for traders even along the northern corridor where the presidents appear to be very committed to easing trade. Ingrid Nantege, NTV Business.